I'm creating a Home Assistant integration for Tasker. And this is what I have so far. This is a preview uh, of what I have so far. So uh, if you don't know, Home Assistant is a, an, a home automation platform that you can install on your PC or on a Raspberry Pi. And it's very powerful. And now Tasker can interact with it. For example, you can see here on my PC, I have the Home Assistant dashboard up so you can see what happens. And I have the, a bunch of tasks here that can uh, manipulate whatever happens on, on Home Assistant. So for example, I can toggle the light. And here I've selected uh, the leaf light that's here on my PC. And I can toggle it with this task. If I run this, you can see that the leaf light was turned on. If I run it again, it was turned off. So you can now very easily control your home automation from your phone. Um, this task can receive parameters, so you can change any other light to any state you want. I have this handy task here that allows you to pick a light and then toggle it. So instead of simply force uh, toggling that light, I can show this dialog and then pick the leaf light. And again, you can see that it was toggled here on the dashboard. So this is a handy task that you can use to easily pick and toggle a light. Since this is Tasker though, you can use these tasks to, in any of your other tasks, to easily toggle the lights you want. You can pick scenes. For example, if I run this, you get a list of scenes you have. Then if you pick one, it will return this in this task to other tasks you call this from like this pick and activate scene. So you pick the scene and then you activate the scene that was returned. Um, you can even play YouTube videos on your home, on your home automation device or on your media players connected to Home Assistant. For example, I have this task here that plays the latest YouTube video from any channel. The first parameter will be the, the player ID. In this case, it's my living room display. Sorry. And then the second parameter will be the YouTube channel ID. In this case, I've added my own. So if I run this task, you can see that here on the Home Assistant dashboard, you can see that my latest video from my YouTube channel started playing on my living room display. I can even play um, do the same thing as above and using the dialog pick a media player and start playing it on the player I want like this one again and there it goes it starts playing I can even control playback so let me start play let me start playing that again I can control playback and I can use one of these commands. Play pause, play, pause, stop, next track, previous track. So in this case I've set it to play pause so it can it just toggles the play the pause button. As you can see it stopped playing. Now if I run this again, sorry, it starts playing again. So you can now very easily control any of your remote devices playback. And you even get to control um, a custom event from Tasker here in, in uh, Home Assistant. In this case, I have this Tasker state, which is currently flashlight off, but I can set it to whatever I want. For example, something. And it, stay, and it changes to something. In this case, I set it to flashlight off. Let me just um, bring it back because I have here in Home Auto in Home Assistant in settings automations I have the this autom these automations that when the flashlight is off that leaf uh, light bulb turns off and when the flashlight is on the leaf light bulb turns on so if I go back to my overview and I set this to on because of that uh, automation I've set up, 
let me just stop this. Because of that automation I set up, the leaf will automatically turn on. And I even created a profile here that monitors my flashlight on my phone. So if I enable this, whenever the flashlight is enabled on my phone, it will perform that flashlight on command on my home assistant and then turn on the leaf. So let me just disable this. And now if I turn my flashlight on here, um, <laughs> for some reason it didn't work. Flashlight on. Flashlight off. Well, the state is updating, but oh, there it goes. For some reason, home automation didn't react to that first event, so but now it works. So if I turn my flashlight off, you can see that it the state is turned off and the leaf is turned off. If I turn it on, the leaf is turned on. So you can now control anything on. Uh, any state, any custom state like this, and then create automations based on that to do anything you want in your home automation system. Finally, you can even get uh, you can even get re uh, events back from Home Assistant in your phone uh, thanks to the new HTTP request event in Tasker. In this case, I set up a automation here in settings automations that when the leaf is triggered or when it's when its state changes then it'll send a request to this IP address and this port and with this path which is exactly what I have here so it will trigger this profile and then run this task this task is simply a flash and then a, a say saying the new state so if I enable this profile and I go back here and enable the the leaf light bulb. Leaf was turned on. I now get an event in Tasker that I can do anything I want with it that triggers anytime this this light bulb turns on or off. Leaf was turned off. So there you go. Now you have a communication between Tasker and home automation in both ways. You can do stuff in home automation with Tasker, and you can do stuff in Tasker with Home Assistant. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.